Hey everyone, it's Jason. Today I wanted to do a Dragon Ball Super Card Game Gift Collection Unboxing. So you're going to see this popping up in some of the retail stores. So in case you're actually wondering what's in it and if it's worth the money, I think it's $20, like $25. Um, so what you're getting in here is you're getting a deck case. You're getting a set of 65 card sleeves. Um, and then four booster packs. So basically, is a is $25 worth um, four booster packs for you, um, a deck box, and a sleeve. If you're playing the game a lot, um, the sleeves are probably pretty awesome. Deck box is great to have. Um, if you're just collecting the cards and you're not worried about having to travel or you have your own set of sleeves you'd rather use, um, are the four packs a box worth, I mean, at $25 a piece, that makes some, uh, what? five something a piece less over six over five dollars a piece um you know i mean a typical pack's about five so they're a little bit more expensive but we'll take a look at what this set is um all right so contents are the same as the practice contents are the same as any box the 50 cards uh one leader necessary to play the game so again you have to have more cards to buy if you can't buy this and expect someone to play right over the box um and it says the contents are the same, meaning one deck, one set of sleeves, four packs. The packs, of course, are always random. Um, and it comes in this weird, like, uh, see-through-ish case. Um, which you definitely repurpose for something else. Um, I have already actually opened all the packs and looked at them. And that's why I kind of wanted to do this video. If it was just another set of, um, another set, I would have kind of been like, eh, I'm not that worried about it. Alright, so I pulled out the deck box first. Uh, so we got Ultra Instinct Goku on here. Um, Shenron on the back. Uh, it's a fairly typical kind of deck box for this type of thing. There's going to be a divider in here with just regular Goku. Um, nothing on the back there. Uh, and I'm sure with the divider, so if you want to separate like an extra deck um, or your leader cards, or if you can fit two decks in here, might be able to. Uh, but there you go. Um, it works for what it is. Um, and then there's a little divider in here that kind of separates the sleeves and the packs. So this could also be a neat little deck deck holder too, if you want to use something like this, because you put your deck in here or put your deck box back in here. After you fill it, um, and they could use these two spots for either maybe some extra random cards that maybe you want to trade off or something, or if you have counters or something, um, or if you have a second deck box, you could probably put a second deck box in there and then use this as a little storage container. So it does have its extra little uses. So if I pop this out of here, and then on the back here, we're going to have um, a little picture of the uh, Tournament of Power stadium and that's all there is for that and this will just pop right out if you don't want to use that we'll toss that off to the side all the sleeves are going to be the same so i'm not going to open them up um looks like super saiyan blue uh vegito and gogeta um so that's kind of cool if you like both of those characters um Preferably, preferably for me, I'm not a super huge fan of the blue. Um, if they're just the regular versions or the Super Saiyans, I would have found this much cooler. Um, but I did Super, so they're always trying to show off the newer and newer forms. Alright, so let's jump into the packs. So, what is also different about these is this is a new set. It's called Mythic Boosters. Um, it is an 8-card pack instead of, I think, the normal ones are... 11 I believe um, But it has mythic booster number one so they might come out with more of these um, This is essentially a re-release set is what it is um, It is promo cards from other set like all the different promos and other things So it's 122 cards 30 commons 15 uncommons 9 rares 7 super rares 2 secret rares um and then they're all, of course, available in regular and holographic. Um, Alright, so this is 8 cards and 126 types are randomly inserted in one pack. Uh, 50 battle cards, extra use cards, 1 leader card, necessary to play. 
Uh, do make sure the product multiples of one card may appear. You know, it's all this typical stuff. Packing illustrates it's different. Um, Bandai, I like to just start adding this. Bandai does not assume the responsibility for the future value of cards. Because all these people are, like, especially like Pokemon, you know, it's getting crazy right now. But people are buying trading cards in the last year or so. Like, they're going to be gold mines in the future. Because, oh, a couple of cards from way back when are worth a lot of money. It's like, they might be. Or this could end up being one of these games that you find in the, you know, 50 cent bin at your gaming store. Um... Alright, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to start looking. So I'm going to look at the artwork first. So we have, looks we'll like, Super Saiyan 4 uh, Vegeta. Um, like I said, these were all reprint cards. So if you're looking for brand new stuff, I don't believe there's anything brand new in here. But don't 100% quote me on that. I haven't actually double checked. Um... Alright, so here we have, but this is, uh, so is this worth the value? The idea is, there are a bunch of promo cards. So, if you think, there are a lot of promo cards, there's stuff from, I think, like, starter sets, um, and, like, special boxes and things like that. Basically, the stuff that's not in your regular packs. So if you're only buying the regular sets and you don't buy anything else, you don't buy like full cases or special collector's editions, this is the stuff you're going to be getting. Um, and that's kind of, I think, why they wanted to do it. They wanted to make some of these cards available to other people who don't go out and buy all these extra collector's edition stuff. Which is funny because you have to buy a special collector's edition to get it. Um, but here we have Brawly the Swift Executioner. Uh, he says red green. Um, I'm not gonna read all the different text on there, um, but this is. I'm gonna zoom up on this a little bit here. We have promo number two o five. Next one we're going to get. I'm trying to zoom in a bit more. I was trying to keep it zoomed out because they were not focusing very well. I'm gonna pull this back so we can look at look at Broly again just in case you couldn't read this text before. Alright, so then we have Sun Goku Instincts Instincts Surpassed. Uh so he's a red blue. Um this is probably also fun for people that like uh, wanted some of these dual colored ones. This is promo, is it 190, 198. Alright, now I can spend a ton of time because I'm not going to reread all of these. So here we have Ultimate Form Son Goku. Uh, he's a yellow one. This is promo number 59. So you can see how we're spanning all the way from way early on at promo number 59 up to like 205. Ooh. We have Ginyu, the reliable captain. Another yellow. This is promo number 19. I love this is my favorite part about these cards. I love that they have character traits. Of special traits and what era they're from. So I think you can kind of like, oh, he's from that show. So it's kind of a neat thing. We have a Dragon Ball. If you're trying to collect them. Uh, so this is from BT5, number 117. Um, I forgot what BT stands for. Um, Battle King, something like that. Um, but you, know, you can get a Dragon Ball if you need to. Uh, you can include as many copies of the card with Dragon Ball in your deck as you like, as long as the total number does not exceed 7. Uh, your leader card is Shenron card, draw a card. So if you're playing a Shenron, this is definitely a powerful card. But I know there's Dragon Balls with like numbers, so I like it. There's just a generic Dragon Ball. Um, so you can get those effects a little bit nicer. Uh, then we have Super Saiyan Gogeta. Or some people pronounce it Gogeta. Um, Acrobatic Warrior, so he's a red, uh, and this is from EX, 
four, number one. Um, and I don't remember what all these, all these mean, but like EX and stuff, but, um, yeah, so it's a special one there. And then we got two foils. We're gonna have a launch, Feminine Wiles. She's a reg. And she's gonna be promo number 274 from the Team Piccolo Saga. And then our final one is um, Power Burst. So we have an extra here to Master Roshi uh, powered up. That's definitely some... Uh, I love when they do foils like these where Roshi himself isn't foiled. And then like the energy around him is an extra foil. I mean, there's still a full shine over the entire card. But I like that. So now you're going to see like, that's a common... From this BT set 5. And then the other BT set 5 we had was... Also a common, the Dragon Ball. We all the rest are promos. So there's not really a rarity to them. Um, Alright, so our next pack is we're going to have Super Saiyan Blue Goku. You know, you might, get, you might not get four different artworks on your packs. I think I got all four different artworks. Um, I don't know if they necessarily include that or not. I'd have to buy a second set of these to find out. I probably will at some point, just because I like promo cards. Uh, so here we have Zarbon, Cosmic Elite. He's a green. Promo number 223. <clears throat> We're going to get Android 18, Perfections Prey. Promo two num number 210, green, yellow. I was going to say, we haven't had any promo leaders, but then we grew, as soon as I said that, I looked down, we had a promo leader. Uh, so this is promo number, is it 68? Yep, 68. So we have Brawly. And then Brawly can flip over, of course, to his awaiting side. Brawly Legends Dawning. We're going to get a Sensu Bean from BT1-53. Uh, choose up to one of your cards, gain 5,000 power for the duration of your turn, then choose two of your energy and switch them to active mode. I'm going to get another Master Roshi card from uh, set 5. Um, power Burst. Uh, Super Saiyan 3 Son Goku, the last straw. So this is a GT card. Uh, yellow one. Uh, so this one is actually, um, starter deck number 10, number 2. So, unless they included every exclusive card from every starter deck, um, I kind of feel like these are... It's a little weird because it's like, well, either I want the cards from the starter deck and I'll buy the starter deck exclusive cards and then just have the extra cards. Or if I buy this, I'm going to end up with like a handful of them. So if I want the other one, I'm still going to have to go buy that starter deck. Uh, kind of weird. All right, then we got two foils. So we got Fused Zamaza, Deity's Wrath. He's all foily. And so that's uh, DB157, and it's a super rare. And then our last one we're going to have in this pack is Surprise Attack, Necron, Shenron, uh, promo 260. And he's a yellow card. Alright, so that's pack number two. Alright, so before we jump into the next pack, I just did a quick look up because I was trying to remember what these letters mean. So, BT is actually uh, Booster Pack set um, number five, which is, I believe, was Miraculous Revival. So these must just be um, cards I thought that people maybe wanted some more of, or they're just trying to promote. Um... The other one I came across, of course, SD was uh, 
structure decks. Um, then this one is DB1. This was deck boxes. So like special box, special deck boxes you could get. So that was some of the different ones. Like EXs were um, draft boxes, I believe. Um, all right. So now we have Zamazo. Let's look at him. Let's see what we got in this set. So I'm gonna get a couple from a regular pack. Um, kind of sucks if they're common. It would have been more neat if they were at least a rare, if not like a uh, promo. But like I did the Dragon Ball one. Uh, but it might just be because they're they're so far they've only been extras. So it's something you can include definitely more than one in your deck of. So that's not so bad. So here we have promo number two hundred or two hundred nine. Two hundred nine. Uh, we have Cooler, Clang Avenger, uh, red blue character. And then we're going to get Bardock, Surge of Inspiration, promo number 204. We have another ultimate form, Son Goku. Uh, Glory Obsessed Prince of Destruction of Vegeta. Uh, so, Majin Vegeta, actually. Um, promo number 63. It's an awesome artwork piece. Uh, Chain Attack Trunks. Uh, from, uh, is that Starter Deck 2? Starter Deck 2, number 5. To GT Trunks. Uh, Goten. Sun Goten. Uh, Awakening the Beast. Uh, it's a weird picture for him where he looks like he's like confused or worn down because he got beat up. Um, promo number 179. Uh, especially because it's a battle card that involves Broly um, and Goten. So it's a little weird. Alright, then we got two foils. We're going to get this cool Vegeta. He did definitely have some artwork. He's throwing off his, uh, like, trench coat. Uh, Vegeta, striving to be the best. Yellow card. Uh, so TB351. FR. I don't know what FR means. I've never seen that before. Um, because, like, PR's promo. Um, okay, that's definitely interesting. I didn't realize that before. And our other foil is Dimension Magic Extra. Uh, definitely looks cool. Um, with Janemba. So it's BT number 50. At least all the cards from the set are from the same set. So that's not so bad. Um, and our final one is we have uh, Final Form. Our fifth form? Fourth form? Fourth, I'm not sure. Cooler. And, hilariously enough, first card we're going to get is Frieza. Um, Mutable Menace. So, 201 promo. And then we're going to get another Natron Shenron, but this is Surprise Attack. So, it's really different than the other one we have. Uh, promo number is at 200. 260. Hard to read from a distance. Uh, this is a yellow one. Uh, ooh, we're gonna get another leader. So we have Son Goku and Vegeta doing the fusion dance. So promo number 69. I wonder if they planned that. So then we got Mar Miracle Strike Gogeta. Uh, he's got his halo up there even. Got another Sensu Bean. Again, not terrible if you're playing the game because it's like, it's a good extra card to have. Um, Android 17, Impending Crisis. This is right before the Android 17 saga. Well, it says Cell Saga, but I don't remember having a coat in Cell Saga. Um, now this one is XD3 number 4. It's a different starter set. We got another extra card. We got the Super Kamehameha. Uh, Battle Pack 6, number 104. 
And our two foils is we're going to get Super Saiyan 2 Trunks Heroic Prospect. So another Future Trunks. This is from the Super Series of Future Trunks. So promo number 219. And our final one, we're going to get Super Saiyan 4 Son Goku Beyond All Limits. That's promo number 262. The Super Saiyan Xeno, the Dark Saga. So this isn't even GT version. Alright, so that's what we have. So, you get... Six, what, 16, 32 cards in this set. Um, the 32 cards in here, most of them are promos. Um, how many weren't? Now, I'm not saying that's not going to be the case for everybody, but one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. So thirteen. So less than half of them were not promo cards, um, but they were from special. Most of them were from special deck boxes or. Uh, from starter sets, if you didn't buy every starter set, might get a card you never had. There was only like five cards that were, five or six cards, I think, total maybe, that were from an actual deck, or from an actual set. Uh, so again, you'll have to justify if you think 32 cards were at least probably 16 or so, for sure, are going to be straight up promo cards. Um, and the rest will be other stuff, roughly. Um, deck box and the sleeves. If that's worth that money to you. Um, I said maybe I'll buy another set one of these days. And if they still have them available. And we'll see what different stuff we get. Um, until then. See you guys later. Bye.